everybody, welcome back to Beer Factory the Game. Today we're going to be trying to uh, complete a beer selling contract. So the game doesn't really have an end since it's early access right now. So I decided that I was going to try to create a beer and sell it uh, under a contract, which gives us a little extra money and uh, experience. I'm kind of making my own end game goal here uh, just to see how it works. So the first thing we need to do is create a beer that we're going to sell. Um, so I kind of whip something up here and I decide to call it victory or else as an homage to what I'm going to try to do uh, with this game. I've tried to write it in here, but it actually keeps capitalizing letters randomly. It was super weird, but you know, that's kind of how the game goes. It's early access. Um, so the idea is to make as much as we can and then sell it under a contract and make as much money as we can. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get some water ready, uh, in the tanks. Uh, so we're going to use this max it out in order to come in. Uh, then after the, uh, water is filled in, we're going to try to start brewing the beer. And I'm having trouble here because I'm not realizing that, you know, the water set up, it's a lot of water. So I need to actually make enough, uh, where I have enough water as well. So Kind of odd, but it is what it is. So I figure it out and I finally launch it and start making this beer. So I head on down to the beer factory underneath or the brew tanks, I should say. And what I'm doing is actually getting the hops ready because our brew um, that we're making here requires like 64 bags of hops or something like that uh, for one tank. And it's only like 370 liters. So a lot of hops. So what I'm doing is to prepare in advance is I'm actually setting up a pallet of pops uh, up top. And then we're going to work on that when the time comes. Uh, in the meantime, I got two workers loading up the tank for me. Uh, and I'm trying to give them a hand because they are super slow. And I'm just trying everything I can to get this process moving forward. So I get the last bag of malts in there and it starts moving forward. Now, as... Uh, the first process finishes up. We need to start loading the hops. So the workers are pretty slow. So it's easier to do something like this where you take the pallet and you actually put it up level with the beer tank. Or the brew tank, I should say. Uh, then you can, what you can do is rapidly grab these hop bags and throw them in there. I can load an entire pallet before the workers can bring up two bags. So definitely worthwhile if you're trying to do something like this and make a tank full of stuff. Um... So I get another pallet up here and I'm just jamming everything in as fast as I can. Once again, the workers are so slow <laughs> that it's easier to get involved yourself because by the time they can load like four or five bags, I can get two pallets loaded in there. So we're just work through and get these on in there. And then what I need to do is bottle the beer. Well, the problem is, is that it requires a lot of those bottles. I think my first tank was about 370 liters, and I think I ended up using over or close to 10 pallets of bottles. So you can tell that these this is very resource intensive and in trying to get, you know, a pallet of beer out and shipped uh, for money. So you buy a lot and you go through a lot of material, a lot of time in this game trying to get everything set up. I feel like I wish this was a little bit quicker or easier to do, but it is a simulator game at the same time. So you sometimes you're expected to spend a little time doing stuff. And that's kind of the nature of the game sometimes. So um, now I get bottle production set up. Uh, I got my workers here all ready to go. Uh, what we need to do is actually tell it to start uh, producing bottles. So you can see here it requires about 1,110 bottles just to bottle up 370 liters of beer. Uh, so basically, I have to get both of these uh, machines up and running uh, to get the process going. Now, this is going to require a lot of bottles and a lot of pallets of bottles, so it's going to be fun. So as time goes on, I have to keep restocking um, the beer factory and, with bottles. And then as, as soon as I restock them with bottles, I have to pick up the pallets of loaded beer bottles and get them into the warehouse and get them ready. Uh, once again, this process is a little crazy. The forklift can be a little unwieldy at times when you're trying to move fast and get things going. Um, and then you got to get new pallets set up to collect all the uh, cases that are already made. It's a lot going on at once when you're trying to do pull this off. So we're still moving cases and cases of beer 
uh, into the warehouse, warehouse to get them set up. You can see here, I'm just trying to push everything in for now, unload it and get back. Um, you can kind of see here a glimpse. I bought a ton of materials. I have everything set up and ready to go in case I need more of this. I've ended up taking out two loans from the game to pull this off. Thankfully, there's no repayment plans or anything like that. So you can kind of just take the money and run with it. Um, very time consuming. So I did a lot of editing uh, for this video just to short, keep it short and sweet for you guys can see what kind of happens. So the forklift is still unwieldy here. Um, you can see I actually got an empty truck ready to go as soon as I start to load these beers up. And that's actually going to be what's coming up next here in a second. All right, so now we need to use the crane inside the uh, docks to load up all the beer into the trucks. Um, this is, once again, a little, little fidgety. Uh, you have to kind of wiggle the crane back and forth to fit the pallets into the truck. Or sorry, yeah, the pallets into the truck. And it can just get a little awkward trying to do that all at once, like wiggle side to side while moving the crane down. Sometimes you have to use two hands to pull that off. Um, another issue I kept having was I didn't know how much um, volume was I was putting in the trucks. Um, there's no way to really tell how much one of these pallets are. Um, so I actually figured out a way to do that. I'm actually going to show you really quick here uh, in the menus. So when you look at a truck, um, what you could do is see the volume of beer that you have in there based on what beer is in there. So you can see Victor or else here. I have 666 liters of beer chilling in there for sale. All right. Uh, so here's what the truck looks like. Uh, fully loaded up with those 666 liters of beer. It's a very odd coincidence that was that number. Um, so what I need to do now is check and see if there's any contracts. And I get, get so lucky here that we have a contract ready to go. So everything's set up. I sell it and we make over $14,000. All in all, this process probably took me about four to five hours. Um, this game consumes a lot of time. Um, I hope in the future it's a little bit quicker, a little bit easier to pull this off. Uh, but for now, it was really fun to kind of challenge myself and get something sold like that. So thank you so much for watching this video. And please, if you enjoyed this content, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, anything you do helps boost the channel. And once again, thank you. And please have a great day.